Hello there and welcome to another episode of the Verzian Chronicles. When we last left off, we had just defeated Davik in his home and stolen the Ebon Hawk. We are now landed on Dantooine and have, and have been called to the council by the council to see them. Before we go see the council, we have a couple people I would like to talk to out in the so basically, once we've landed here on the sh on the on the world, uh, we've got a couple interesting folks we could talk to. Then we've got some Jedi walking around this enclave-looking area. So let's talk to a few of them. Good day to you. I'm afraid I cannot speak to you at the moment. I apologize. That was one of the Jedi. There is a man named Lur Arcasulas. Let's speak with them. Greetings, sentient. May I take a moment of your time for a question? Uh, go ahead. I'm glad to take your questions. I represent a human citizen of Dantooine by the name of Rundel Otsalum. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders for many years. His young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. I'm sorry. I don't have any idea who you're talking about. Ah, that is too bad. I will continue my search. Are the problems with the Mandalorians common on Dantooine? I understand they are, though I know little of the history behind this conflict. Someone native to this planet can tell you more. You know what? I'll keep an eye out for the girl, okay? I would appreciate that, sentient. All right, so that interest, that is a thing of interest to happen. We have a hut named Shuma. Let's speak with them. Greetings, young human. You are welcome in my humble abode, as are others who are deigned to visit this poor outcast hut. Oh, uh, who are you? What are you doing here? Alas, even a poor hut businessman is not exempt from the fires of this conflict that now rage between the Sith and the Republic. My world, my business was based on Nika, was subject to a most unexpected and unfortunate attack by the Sith Armada. The space lanes were clear one day, then the next they were filled with Sith interceptions and closed traffic. I had under my employ, quite unwittingly of course, certain transport pilots who knew the ways to slip past me past the blockade above that world. It was the only means by which I managed to escape Naka before the Sith commander deemed it worthless and virus bombed all intelligent life from it. It gives one a new appreciation for the value of sometimes troubling Jedi Order. Is there anything else you would wish? I'll be going now. Thank you and good luck to you in all your endeavors. Should you come back to me, I would be grateful for any conversation. And that was Shuma. Also, that's my voice. I don't need that anymore. <laughs> let's walk. We have one more person to speak to. They are Twi'lek. So let's pick a new voice. Here we go. Hello, and welcome to the Jedi Club on Dantooine. I do not believe we know each other. My name is Derza Lord Jada. You can call me Tazra. I have not heard of any new apprentices being accepted for training recently. What brings you to this place, if I may ask? I came with Bastilla. Oh, yes, of course, I should have known. I have only heard little of how she escaped the disruption of Taris. Tell me, did she save you from that planet as well? She didn't save me. We worked together to escape Taris. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, no offense, of course. In any case, it is good to have her back on Dantooine again. We were afraid Malik had captured her. I hope you enjoy your time here on Dantooine, and may the Force be with you. I fucking... God. Okay, no more accents. My voice is dying. That one was a high-pitched accent, and I'm not, I'm not sure I liked it. Anyways, I hope everyone enjoys these shows and everything I do here. Um, you got just bombarded with accents for like the first five minutes of it. 
of, of the content. Um, if you're new here, go listen to the previous episodes of the cast. It's, it's a great, great bit of fun. Um, but if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. It means a ton to me that you came back. Um, and that I, that you're here. It, it means an absolute ton. Uh, as we finish out this year, we have had, um, last weekend we had, we broke our 4,000 plays barrier. We've had 4,000 plays, lifetime plays over the content, which I know, I know it's not a lot, but that is astoundingly a lot for someone like me who just does this as a hobby. I'm not doing this for any sort of monetary gain or anything like that. Um, so, but like, if you have ever wanting to hear me ramble and rant about other things, follow me on other platforms as well. Um, you know, I've got uh, stuff on Tumblr. I've got stuff on, uh, I got a Mastodon. I got a, t a Twitter. I got a TikTok. I got all these different things. And oftentimes the links will be in the doobly doo below. You can find me all there. Anyways, um, before we get going as well, I want to quickly shout out a couple uh, really awesome podcast that, uh, I tend to shout these guys out pretty much every week. Right. Uh, but you need to check out, uh, you need to check out the first encounter podcast. Uh, Hanny and, uh, Chris over there are fantastic. You need to check out. Um, I think they changed their name to the odd conduit media but they're the Hyrule Podcasters. They're doing a Sandman Unlocked podcast. You need to check out. That's pretty dope. Um, you need to also check out the Super Secret Switch Cub podcast, uh, where they are currently uh, reviewing, <laughs> reviewing, playing, uh, reviewing is a strong word, playing, um, what are they playing? Echo the Dolphin. I think they're getting closing to finishing up and getting started on the next thing. Of course, Locathor's audio only Let's Plays, uh, where last I looked, I'm actually pulling it up literally as we speak, uh, they were talking about Dragon Quest, uh, which, hmm, 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 hmm. They just did a Pokemon Scarlet audio only Let's Play, so you want to go check that out. That's pretty dope. Uh, go check out, um, and they also did a first impression of Altier, Atelier Sophie 2 as well. Um, I'm not used to seeing them do first impressions. It's pretty dope. Go check out, of course, uh, Skeleton po uh, Skeleton Podcast. Uh, Skelly. Uh, Skelly's Skeleton House Podcast. I absolutely love their podcast. Uh, I don't know what they're doing right now. My brain has turned to mud. I have them in my podcaster list, but it's not lo loading at the moment, and I feel really bad about that. Sorry, Skelly. Love you. Um, who else is on my list of people to check out? Oh, go check out the Dragoonie, uh, Dragoonie, the Dragoon Effect. Um, they, what were they playing? I last looked, I, I swear to you, I had them up yesterday. I know they're doing season six, which I think is, hold that thought. Oh, no, 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 I don't, don't want to see that. Uh, Detention? I think that's what the game was. Uh, yeah, detention. I'm pulling it up, literally pulling it up as we speak. Um, yeah, go check everyone out, every, every one of those out. I'm not going to put them in the doobly-doo below. Go check them out. Listen to this part again. It's literally worth five minutes into the video. Go listen to it again. Uh, and that's some good stuff. All right, back to the game. We are, have come across, a, as we curt further down into you the facility, there, Padawan. we've come across... Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? We come across someone named Balaya. Balawa. Um, so let's, uh, let's, so she said, you there, because I did cut her off back then. Why are you not wearing the customary Jedi uh, robes? Um, I'm going to believe, I'm going to say, I believe you're mistaken. I'm not a Padawan. I'm Kylie Kane. I'm here with Bastilla. Bastilla. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I I'm telling you the truth. I'm, I'm not a Jedi. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. 
I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Okay, Belia. Her name is Belia. I did have that right. So, Belia. Uh, being a bit uh, brash there. Alright, I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. I guess uh, we go towards what I think is a big chamber. Uh, two directions. Oh, and we see Karth. Ah, found Karth. I was looking around these hallways. All these hallways look the same, and the, the, the hallway I was at is just a big tree. Um, so, but the hallway of Karth is standing here to the left. Let's see if he says anything. They're waiting for you inside. Okay. Uh, so we've got, we're, we're coming to a room with four or five people. We have Bastilla, a humanoid man, a small creature, another humanoid man, and a looks like a character and from the east to the west i'm going to quickly name them off we have bastilla sean ah, so you are the one who rescued bastilla it is appropriate you are here we have been discussing your rather special case i am jar a member of the jedi council That's with me like are master vrook master vandar and of course the chronicler of our academy master dorak padawan bastilla i am sure you are already familiar with in Master Vrook in two as well, yeah. So going from the east to the west, we had uh, the person talking to me. We had Master Vrook, which is the uh, humanoid elderly man. Master Vendar, who's like a Yoda style character, and of course the chronicler Master Dork, who is the other humanoid. And then we have Bastilla. Um. So I'm gonna say, isn't the Jedi Council in Coruscant? Yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Okay, what do you want from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Okay, well, um, what do you mean by strong in the Force? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Okay, I'm, I'm willing to try my best. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training. Though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order, but you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Okay, so they're deliberating something about me. And now we're back in our bed, having another nightmare. Uh, I wonder if the nightmare is going to show. The nightmare does begin to show. It shows us in some sort of hallowed hall. Standing with Malik beside us. Well, it shows it doesn't show us. It shows Darth Lord, the Dark Lord, Revan, standing with Malik before Malik got his face. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? 
Okay, so we're speaking of, of some sort of star forge. And we're standing in front of what looks to be an orb that is showing what looks to be a hollow map. Uh, if you've watched the Star Wars this morning's movies. getting stranger by the minute. If you've watched the Star Wars Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and not you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Uh, did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? I had a rough night. Let's go. You got it. All right, so I'm going to be taking Karth or Nasi, and I think I will take Mission with me. And it looks like both of them need to level up, so let's go check those those level ups. Uh, we're just going to auto-level up both of them. They level up one level. All right. What? I think I am going to do that from here on out. Let me go to the options here. Gameplay. Uh, auto level up. Oh, hey, hold up. Party members. That doesn't include the player, right? I don't know if that includes the player, so I'll leave it alone. Mission seems rather distant. Maybe you should talk with her. I'll speak with her. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's... It's... It's just gone. Malik will pay for what he did, Mission. Yeah, I know. The Jedi got rid of Revan, so... I figure Malik's days are numbered, too. But that doesn't make the pain go away, you know? Look... I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... It's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Thank you, Mission. Thank you. All right, now we're continuing on. Um, we're heading down back to the Enclave and back to the Council to see exactly what's going on. Um, they didn't seem too happy that I was there last time. A couple of the Jedi were okay with it, but the majority of them weren't, which was very concerning because I'm not sure what exactly that means. Does this mean we get our lightsaber? Do we get to, we get to become a Jedi? Let's find out as we step into the way. told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Yeah, they seem to be searching for something. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. All right. I trust in your greater wisdom. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. Are you saying that I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I'm ready for whatever awaits me. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. 
How can he be stopped? Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. I'm ready now. I accept this mission. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. As you wish, Master Vendar. We must begin your training at As once. You, wish. you have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. We have a scene will of us you to fighting. The power of the Force. We have a scene of us meditating. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, and you learning. must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. Okay. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. We're meditating again. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. This whole thing was just a montage. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Wow, that was a week? That was literally Soon a montage. Your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. What must I do to prove myself? In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Okay, I'm ready for the test then. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Okay. Let's take a look. What is the Jedi Code in KOTOR? All right. This is where I pull up a guide because uh, I, yeah. All right, ready? Let's do it. Let's talk to him. Let's do it. Let's do the first test. Are you ready? Here we go. First test, not training room. There we go. Greetings, my young pupil. I'm ready to continue my training. Soon you're up in the traditions and custom. All right, I'm ready for the test. Okay. You must there is there is no emotion. There is only peace. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the force. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, 
Each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. All right. Let's go through the room and get at the crystal. Oh, wait. Ready. What? What? Master Dorak, right? Yeah, Master Dorak, who's standing in the middle right there. Okay, hello. Master Dorak. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees I clicked on him like five here, times. <laughs> the time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Okay. What positions are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Okay. All right. Um... Honestly, I was thinking about being a sentinel. But a guardian sounds Indeed. good. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. Okay. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? I, well, honestly, I would stop the thugs and find out why they are attacking her. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Um, honestly? I would try to see a weakness in his technique, or find out why he turned to the dark side. And try to turn him again. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Well, there's a locked goal, and like, the... honestly, let's start by knocking. I am beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. <laughs> I mean, you are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Well, I would probably coordinate with planetary gover government to identify the infiltrators. Yes, I th as I suspected. Which color and path do you believe? Ooh, a consular. Okay. Well, I think I'll be a... Well, let's see. So consular is like kind of a middle-of-the-road class, right? You have the Guardian, who is attackers. The Jedi Sentinel, who's the... Eh. Here is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jedi. We're a Jedi Counselor, then. You how to construct it. That's new. Uh, we're level 9 Counselor. Counselor, that's uh, six skills. Um, take one in Persuade. Here we go. All right. It's not one in there. I'm going to take one in Persuade. Persuade, please. Uh, feats. We gained weapon proficiency, lightsaber, Jedi defense, force focus, Jedi sense, and force sensitive. Uh, I recommend wants to take advanced Jedi defense, uh, which is three bonus to blaster weapons. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll take that. We'll take that. That's fine. I think the next time we'll probably take uh, plus one to weapon focus as well. 
probably. And we may end up taking Ma uh, Flurry, Ma like heading up towards Master Flurry as well afterwards. Powers. All right. So we've got Force Powers. Uh, and we've got two powers we can take. Honestly, I'm thinking about taking to start with. Uh, we like Cure. Cure is awesome. Cure is a good power. And let's see here. This one's a restricted by armor. Um. I'm thinking energy resistance, effect mind, effect stun, um, stasis field, stay stun, stun droid. Um, there's a bunch of dark side powers I kind of don't want. Dark side, universal, throw lightsaber. The lightsaber's neat, but it's like 1d damage for every two levels of the attacking cure. It's 1d6 damage um, for every two levels of the attacking character. So it'd be, let's see, I'm level 8, so that's 46 damage. Level 9, so 46 damage. That's not a bad attack, actually. Shit. Okay, 46 damage. Yeah. Yeah, 4... Yeah, 4d6. Yeah. Yeah, why why not? What it, it it wants me to take stun in stasis. So uh stasis is neat, but no, I know of too many enemies that are like really like I'm going to take throw lightsaber. What about the other one? Throw lightsaber. Um Okay, what is the what is advanced throw lightsaber? Three separate targets. Oh, it's multi-target. Multi-targeted. I'm sorry. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna take cure and uh, throw lightsaber. And then it looks what? like mission gained a level as well. Nice. Good job, mission. What? All right, so let's go talk to uh, to Zar and see what he has to say now. Ah, good. No we shall now begin construction of our lightsaber. Okay, cool. Let's begin construction. We do some Jedi mind stuff, and we go... It doesn't show the actual construction of the lightsaber, which I love, by the way. Uh, we get to pick our power crystal, which we already picked. Uh, crystal's green. Um, and it is a 2 to 16 damage weapon at 19 to 20 threat. And let's take a look at that versus what we were using here. 2 to 16, which is a 5 to 19 weapon. Uh, yeah, 5 to 19 versus our 8 to 17. I don't see a reason why that would be a bad thing. So let me double check this real quick. What is... It needs power. It takes power crystals. Okay. Yeah, there is no. There's just no. 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 Yeah. Five to you nineteen. Have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Where... Should I know anything else about lightsabers? Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I'm ready to face my third trial, yes. For every Jedi, the threat of the Dark Side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the Dark Side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway. 
twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. What's causing this corruption? The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Do you have no other guidance? I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The Dark Side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the Dark Side has been stopped. This is your task, Apprentice. May the Force be with you. Fair enough. Let's go do it. All right. Let's go uh, figure this out. Um... Do we need to wear Jedi robes? Or are we allowed to just kind of exist as we are with our lightsaber? I don't know if we need to, like, change robes or not. Let's check some of these doors out. Sola? You look the seasoned Pazak player. No, I don't I don't want to play Pazak. Sorry. <laughs> I thought this would be uh, interesting. Um... We're basically stare, you know, walking around the Jedi Enclave, stealing their stuff. Alain Matal standing in one of these rooms. Hello. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak. No, I'm sorry. Can I grab your stuff, though? Thanks. Goodbye. That guy was like, you're being rude. I don't want, it, I don't want you here. Oh, I just wanted to see your footlocker, arsehole. That's all I wanted. Steal your credits. <laughs> He didn't even have credits. He had a med pack. Is that dark? That's not dark side behavior. Nah, nah, we ain't dark side. We're 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 uh medium, medium rare side. Is this a door out? Enclave exit. It is locked. Okay, let's talk to this protocol droid. The council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Thank you. And the door opened as soon as I talked to the protocol droid. Neat. All right, so we have to find this area um uh, i need to talk to somebody mission wants to talk again so let's talk with mission real quick hey there what can i do for you i want to talk to you about your brother i'm sorry for the way i acted before it's just that when it comes to lena i tend to get a little worked up why do you hate her so much my brother and me had a good thing going Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay, until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. So did, Dina dump, did Lena dump him? I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. As we're talking here, the Republic soldier uh, that's guarding the place walked up right up to us and was staring us down. So, what happened? After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Maybe something happened to him. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, nothing. Never mind. Okay. All right. Well, that's interesting, interesting stuff. 
So we've got a bunch of NPCs out here that we can definitely what? talk to. Why? Yes. Um, but I don't really want to speak with them just yet, because my goal. Are you a Jedi. How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. I, I'm, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. They killed her? There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Revenge is never a good reason. Please, I beg of you, find the Mandalorian raiders and destroy them so my daughter can rest in peace. Dantooine looks peaceful enough, but packs of cath hounds roam these plains. We need to keep our guard up while we're out here. All right, we need to find where we need to go first, though, because I don't know if that's the correct direction either. There's a lot of places we can run to, so why don't we talk to the Republic security and figure out exactly where we need to go? Please be careful on the plains, apprentice. Cath hounds are about. Oh, he, he literally tells us nothing. He literally tells us nothing. I realized that uh, if I don't talk loud enough, um, this thing has a lot of trouble picking me up. So I got to be very careful, uh, especially as I lean back in my chair. Okay. Um, so we've got some animals out here, some Ilraz. Are they going to attack me? They will. Let's start with a lightsaber throw. Let's go! <laughs> How'd you like that? They immediately attacked, but uh, then they started running. And then some cath hounds appeared. Well, shit. And now we have some cath hounds. Let's take care of the cath hounds here real quick. 13 damage on a cath hound. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. I took care of one cath hound. I took care of another cath hound. All right, so here's what I'll do. Before we continue our hunt into the uh, wild unknown, I think we're going to uh, call it a pause here and come back next week with the next exciting episode as we try to solve this issue and figure out exactly what's going on. Okay? So, if you uh, aren't... If you haven't followed me on the other places, please do so. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, all that other all that other good stuff. Twitter, TikTok, uh, Discord. You can check out my Discord, all the links in there. I'm sorry I'm distracted um, right now. So, uh, But with that said, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful evening. And I hope this abrupt end doesn't ruin anything for you. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time here at The Verse.